Hello, 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 hello everybody. It is Moody Monday. It's Pip here. Uh, it's sunny outside and it's looking very lovely. We had our planters all planted up over the weekend, so I'm going to share some pictures of those when I get a chance. Um, but yeah, we've had a good weekend. I hope you had a good weekend too. But I guess you're feeling a little bit moody now, back to work, if you're going back, if, you, if you're back to work or kids were back to school this morning it was all a bit hectic no doubt so hopefully i can cheer you up on this moody monday facebook live pick me up video so i'm going to talk today a little bit about uh wishes and wonder uh the north pole wonder dies and the evergreen forest 3d embossing folder all three of these um, are items that you will get in my october Christmas retreat and this Saturday Friday Saturday I think uh, maybe even Sunday but this weekend <laughs> is the closing date for you to actually come and book in for my online Christmas retreat so it's all moved online I've got two weekends available with various slots on both um, not so many on the first weekend that's pretty full but i have sp I have spaces on the second weekend that's the 24th to the 25th of october um you get a massive goodie bag so you'll get this plus everything else you could possibly want to use for your weekend retreat uh, all you need is a few ink pads so you need what do you need where have i put it oh, i've hidden it behind my count my light so i can't get to it misty moonlight pool party smoky slate and highland heather so just four ink pads is all you need um hi joe how are you long time no speak um so yeah four ink pads and then obviously a die cutting machine so that you can use the fantastic embossing folder and the dies which are just gorgeous um and i'm not using hey becky <laughs> you made it um i'm not using any of the colors that are actually in the catalog with this suite i'm changing it up completely um so as you can tell from the colors that i'm using so highland heather uh, misty moonlight pool party and uh what's the other one smoky slate that's right um so yes yeah, so we're using this i love this little stag here it's a fabulous set uh great sentiments great um creativity that you can do with that i have designed all my projects and i'm spending this week um videoing them and writing up all the tutorials so you'll get four classes four four full classes so saturday morning saturday afternoon sunday morning sunday afternoon but you won't have to be online all the time okay that's the good thing you can um all the videos pre-recorded are uh, we'll come on we'll say hello we'll do our normal chit chat <laughs> get you ready make sure you know what's in your bag you look exclusive bag for retreat um make sure that you know all the goodies that you've got and what they're for no cheating and peeking at your pillar gifts um and then we will do um oh no sue you're gonna miss us today okay no worries you can catch us up on on follow-up uh but yes so you get all of that and then of course we have time to chat time to get together time to um see what everyone's been making but you can go off and you can do the crafting watching the videos following the tutorials on your own just moving those out from the light because that's a bit bright um so you don't have to be online all day because i know that that's hard it's not great for the eyes to be honest um or the head so fair enough if you want to be off and, and not on all day that's okay so in, in fact i won't be on all day so so that's how we do it we come back again the following day we have another two classes on the sunday lots of fun lots of laughter and it is almost as good as being in person um it's not quite as good except that we can have more people so you know we can just about i i, I we can have like the same number of people but from all over the place so it doesn't have to be like all in everyone who can get there on that weekend on the um you know get away on that weekend hi jane how are you jane knows all about our craft retreats so yeah they're fun aren't they jane hopefully so um hopefully she says yes <laughs> So anyway, so today I'm going to talk to you about the other parts of the suite. So let me get my little catalogue out. So yeah, so I've, I've, I thought I would show you some other bits on the suite because I'm not using these bits in retreat. So I thought, well, well I'll show you these bits then and we can talk about these. So let's see if I can find it. Where is it? It's always further on than I expect. It is. Come on. Where are you? Oh, if I can't find it this time, right here we go. 
right here we go the wonder of the season okay so um yes as i say so we're going to use look how lovely that little deer comes out that stag isn't that great thank you jane oh and thanks to the oh and jane the other jane's on as well hello thank you i'm glad you enjoyed them so yes yeah, so that's that's the little stag there looks lovely lovely uh, but this is all very red and green so i said i'm not going to do red and green didn't want to do traditional because you know I can, i'm a bit like that so i thought i'd talk to you about the other bits that i'm not using specifically this now i had had this out and we've had a look at it before but we've never actually made anything with this so i thought we'll make some cards with this which is the memories and more um kit okay so it's called the wonder of the season memories and more card pack we've talked about the flash envelopes that we used last time to do some stuff with peace and joy hi hannah hi Anne. hello um so we talked about these envelopes these gorgeous lush um foiled envelopes and the matching cards okay so we'll talk a little bit more about them too but i wanted to also show you how these work brilliantly for really quick and easy christmas cards um when you buy one of the memory and more card packs okay so it's either this one which has got all fancy fancy nice um foiling on or you can just use the normal size cards you get some large and you get some small in a in a pack and you get all the envelopes to match obviously so i just wanted to show you about that and also share the the um ribbon that comes with this suite because again i've not used this ribbon because i'm not using these colors in my retreat so i haven't got it out of the bag yet so <laughs> Look, it's very lush though, isn't it? Look at that. So double-sided, this ribbon. So you can have different ones. So yeah, retreat is fun, but I thought I would try and do something different with all the rest of the, the, the suite. Um, but if you do want to come to retreat, I will put... Um, you can just go to book a class and find all the details on there. There is a little tab on Facebook. If you scroll across, you can see my tab that says book a class, and that will take you to my class booking place. And then register that you're interested and then i will send you an email with all the details about payment and all that kind of stuff um and obviously everything will be there for you to use ongoing uh so hopefully you will enjoy that now this is a mega suite and there is two stamp sets in this suite so there's this one which is the one i got um for retreat which is the one everyone's going to get for retreat then there's this one cherish the season bundle and i didn't get this because we did bells a couple of years ago for me and I didn't want to do bells again. But actually looking at it now, I'm kind of a bit miffed I didn't really because there are some lovely, you can cut out some gorgeous bell shapes. Look at this. Can you see that? You see the bell has got holly actually embossed on it. I oh, see that's clever. We didn't have that before. And then this one, I don't know what that one, that one's got like a little, that's a stamped version. I think it's got the hot, um, wreath shapes on it so that they're, they're actually pretty yeah look see here so it's got wreaths holly a little holly border pattern so actually yeah i'm kind of thinking now i should have probably bought that one too but never mind i always say you can't have everything you have to go with what floats your boat so this didn't float my boat at the time it's now tempting me but this one did float my boat at the time even though it was something quite traditional i didn't want to do it traditional so retreat it won't be but today it will be does that make sense yeah that kind of makes sense okay so first off as i say this isn't going to be massively long i'm just going to tell you now not massively long hi sharon oh you'd love these sharon these are definitely you up your street uh quick and easy christmas cards great put together with the kids um so this kit comes see we get the bells anyway in this kit like this so we've got um some big ones like this which are solid and then on the flip side, I'll show you the flip side, you've got coloured backs to it, okay? So they're not like plain. This one's got lots of holly on it, that's nice. Okay. And then the bells, they've got oh, deer and holly and pine pine trees, pine needles. Okay. So they're nice, yes, we like those. And they would make a card just pretty much on their own, the fronts, but we'll just add a few bit of extra bling. Uh, then you've got some of these specialised ones. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at this. So these are all gold foiled, <laughs> plain on the back, 
but quite frankly you get enough on the front right gold foiling beautiful gold foiling Oops. look at that season's greetings beautiful lovely feather i mean i would say they're feathers but i guess they're supposed to i mean they are pine pine needles as well but you could easily use those as feathers if you wanted to and then merry christmas <gasps> and then this one's like all gold but just with a touch of red isn't that beautiful so you get all of those and you get two each of the gold ones and you get one two three four five six each of the big ones right so are we counting i don't know how many cards that's going to make but it's a lot which ones are, i'll just put them over there because it's getting oh no it's getting even more shiny over there that's the problem with having bright lights um and then we get some little ones so let me get try and get these in sequence now i've managed to mix them up completely right one two three four five five there must be six i would have thought oh maybe there isn't maybe it's five okay so five each of these little ones so it's holly on one side and kind of like a scripty thing where you can put something in the middle on the other that's nice then we've got there's the other ones of these here we go yeah five of these ones beautiful christmas trees and on the other side may you never be too grown up to search the skies on christmas eve oh i love that that is great oh yeah that's a really good one um and then we have sort of a a green garden green i think this is um colored background with little, little swirly bits and then on the other side sending wishes from the north pole so that's nice with a little lamppost okay then we have wishing you holiday cheer this season and then what's the other side of that one Ooh. Have I lost? Is it these? Yeah, here we go. Uh, so the other side just says believe. OK, so again, five of those. And this one says believe. Then mistletoe. No wine, just mistletoe. OK, <laughs> and that one is mistletoe. And then on this side is this one, which you could stamp something in the middle of that. It's lovely. And then the last one is this one. And when you turn it over, it says five gold rings four calling birds three friend okay so that's the 12 days of christmas on a on the back of a card that's lovely and this is free for you to obviously put something on so you get all of that so that's 5 10 15 20 25 30 of those okay plus we had one two three four times six and all of these two four six eight ten 10 wow it's a lot and then on top of all of that you get stickers so we've got these stickers we've got a little lovely little stag shape wonder joy and believe with some stars two of them you get numbers okay so if you wanted to you could make your own little advent calendar okay so you can use these either on the cards and turn them into your own little advent put the i would put these like these ones onto cards or onto envelopes rather and then tuck something inside the envelope if you wanted to or you could use these just for something else birthdays whatever or just to put on cards that you've got then you've got it's the most wonderful <laughs> jane says i need to get these now i know they're great aren't they and <laughs> carol look at this yes quite um it's the most wonderful time of the year wishing you wonder some holly leaves mistletoe two of those um jingle all the way love that let your heart be light all is bright sending you christmas wishes joy magical and then some bells and some holly so you get all of that in one kit like it just in one pack which is great so obviously you have to add your envelopes and your and your cards but i want to show you how we can use these so the pack is 11.25 you get 48 cards of the little ones okay and six and four by six and then you get 12 speciality cards with gold eight sticker sheets um and it's got basic black cherry cobbler garden green gold foil real red and shaded spruce so there you go so your two reds your two greens everyone has one of those reds 
and one of those greens hey hi lisa jane um so you know it's a dead easy dead easy thing to do to get uh, you don't really need anything else from your stash is what i'm trying to say and then if you want the fancy envelopes and cards then which obviously you know they kind of match with the scroll work on, and stuff on that these are 10 to 75 and you get 20 20 cards and 20 envelopes okay but we also have the other ones in the main catalog which i'm just gonna root around and find because i think it's useful to know what your options are so in the main catalog you've got your it's under your basics so you have to find your basics which is here no no it's not it's the next one one way or the other to your basics there you go this one um so you get assorted memories and more and you can have for 975 you get um 20 memory more 20 bases 20 envelopes um i think it's 10 of each i think you get 10 small 10 big something like that um in that one and that's 975 so those are your options that's what we're going to use we're not going to use anything else other than that plus maybe a little bit of ribbon because i love the ribbon and my somewhere i have a pack of the gems but the question is which of my little envelope which of my little boxes did i put them in because they are here somewhere i'm sure they are not that one that's the other one no nope, not that one not that one i've got so many there are so many sparklies right and we need all of them don't we that's that's the thing not in there i think they're just basic yeah they're just basic ones yeah oh dear who started their christmas crafting yet yeah, hands up if you've started oh, I'd be very impressed and they're not here either what have we done with them okay now i'm getting a little confused maybe i put them somewhere else rats so i had the lovely gems but i don't know what i've done with them but you have to take it from me the gems are amazing what did i do with those very sad girl here now so anybody has anybody started any of your any of your christmas crafting whatsoever at all anyone <laughs> no nobody well you're a bit remiss is all i'm gonna say because ah oh, see becky's got her hand up good girl so <laughs> because you know you need to have i need to have some bling i'm gonna just go and have a look but you need to do definitely start your um christmas stuff start it early because otherwise you know what's going to happen it's going to be december before you know it and you won't have done anything right are they in here no okay i might have to give them up as oh maybe i'll get them out instead could be a bit risky but let's try it okay so somewhere in here i have gems can i find them can i mm -hmm. somebody's eating them it's that craft room gremlin that we all have that comes and takes something haven't got your mojo for christmas says jane too early for christmas it's never too early for christmas right okay i'm going to bring these out and you're going to gasp <gasps> these will work so these are the sequins for everything and they really are sequins for everything however they come in a little pot like this and when you lift the lid off you have to be very careful that they don't fly everywhere because they're all individual you can just mix them all together if you're feeling really radical and not OCD. If you're feeling OCD, keep them in their separate pots, okay? But you've got kind of gold ones, yellow ones, green ones and red ones. So we can definitely add those for bling. And some of them are opaque and some of them are sparkly. So it's kind of nice. It's a bit of a difference. <sighs> Yours are... Oh, they're in the loft. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. So I'm going to put the lid on because otherwise you know what's going to happen, don't you? But just remind me to add bling at the end because I think I'll do that. OK, so let's get started because there's a lot here going on, right? There's a lot going on. And if you ever get a kit like this and you think, oh, what am I going to do? Um, you can just start by looking at the catalogue because there's always, always some great ideas in here. So, for example... Isn't that lovely? They've just done a bit of sponging on that and then put the rounded the corners and stuck the middle one on. That's nice. See, they've used these to actually do a day by day album for their memories and more, which, of course, is what they're actually supposed to be used for. <laughs> so this is like a little memory album and they've putting in each of the days and saying what they made on that day. 
which is great but i don't do that amount of journaling so i'm not going to use it for that um here they've cut out the celebrate the season and put it onto a little box as a gift that's lovely what else we got uh i don't think any of those are actually using the thing so we've got this one here as an example and we've got this one here as an example and we've got some holly there which they obviously used from one of the sets and again journaling in here for this so but i like the whole kind of idea of layouts and stuff like that and the colors so they will add to our um inspiration yes jane it would be a lovely class and in fact this was going to be my october class so i was going to do a stamper stack with all of this um but i just don't have enough time to do a stamper stack so um there are not enough days in october with world card making day and the fact that we're going to be doing a marathon craft along on world card making day on october the third so put that date in your diary um we have a lot to do <laughs> in october two weekend retreats and uh, craft along and team training so i just ran out of time basically but this is going to this was going to be my my um class so if anyone would like to order it and make it into a class for themselves i mean you can use this video and i might do some more on the craft along i don't know yet what i'm doing but let's just start with some bases where are my bases here we go i don't want to use my fancy one yet i want to use my my small ones normal ones okay so let's just start hi jan <sighs> do you not have that in adelaide lisa jane do you not have any memories of more that's sad that's not good you definitely need some of those there we go okay here we are so i'm just folding those over to get my leading edge now these are really good because these are so little you can literally just pop one of these straight on and you have a christmas card Ta da in that quick <laughs> or you could just put on your christmas tree actually i quite like the christmas tree uh or you could do sending wishes so we'll do a few of those and we'll get those stuck down and you could add some trim so the thing i like about these cards is they're quite sturdy they're nice you know they're not flimsy so you could easily quite easily grab some trim and we can wrap that around our tree so our tree's got some nice trim and we'll put a little bow at the bottom there okay so i need about that much there we go. let's get let's get crafting so before we do anything else i'm going to just do that <laughs> which is of course what we all do on all of our craft stations right we just push it all to the side let's just shove it over there it'll be fine i'll find it again in a minute i mean of course we never do but you know <laughs> Oh, the card making day. Oh, we're doing it online, Lisa. So if you want to join in, it will be online via Zoom. So you can register and come along to my craft along. Then you just craft along. Now, of course, it will be evening for you because I'm doing it at 10. Well, no, it might be a bit earlier. 10 o'clock, uh, I think I'm going to start. That's the plan. 10 a.m. UK time. And we're just going to craft at home along with each other and then we're going to take it in turns and rotate through so we've got lots of royal stampers who are taking part and we're going to rotate through and um have some have some crafty fun so yeah that's that's coming more news coming soon probably at the end of this week so maybe the beginning of next week depending on how quick i get it done here we go now i'm just going to tie a tiny little bow you know me and my little bows okay so yes yeah, so anyone can come demonstrators customers friends family dog cat you name it goldfish bring them along for world card making day and we're going to try and go through to about eight o'clock at night <laughs> that's the plan <laughs> we'll see how that works and see whether we can get there <laughs> by the end of this week but that's <laughs> we might all be a bit tired we're going to take it in turns so we're not all going to be doing the whole lot i'm going to be doing the first stint and then i might be coming back on again we we're going to come probably come back on again for another performance later on in the day right there's my little bow going on there like so little glue dot that was in case you were you were th checking your diary for world card making day but that's the bow on there like that now i think that would look good with some of those little sprinkly things on as um baubles don't you think 
So now do I want to put this on on dimensionals? I've glued it now, so it's going to have to be glued. But actually, that is quite high, that, that ribbon, that twine. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go, I might have to think next time about doing... No, I think it'll be all right, actually. I think it'll hold. Multi-purpose glue is great for this because it does help to hold hold card down that's got twine in the middle of it, if you know what I mean. So that's why I love our multi-purpose liquid glue just goes on great okay so there's our little tree now eek, 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 eek. okay here we go are we ready so we're going to go for some sequins all over as if they're baubles now obviously if you have the um gems that come in the kit which i should have but i've no idea what's happened to them then you would um you wouldn't have to glue them because they are sticky they've got sticky backs um but because i'm having to use these then they're not sticky backs so let's put some definitely some gold ones and i like these um sequins because they've got no holes in them so the glue does not come out if you know what i mean you know sometimes on the others there's holes in the middle and the glue comes out not on these right we've got red one there's a big red one down there. Oh, look, I'm just decorating my little Christmas tree. Which is good because I never get to actually decorate a Christmas tree because we don't have room for a Christmas tree in my house. <sighs> big sigh. I know, it's terribly sad. So we'll put the red over there. Now, what else can we put on? We could put some green ones on, I think. Yeah, maybe. I want some different sizes. Let's put some little dot ones on. These are opaque. Not opaque, they're solid. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, we can have a pink one up here. There we go. Oh yes, you can do that if you've got a... If, sorry, I'm answering Becky a bit late now. But yes, if you've got uh, one with a hole in, like a sequin with a hole in, you can indeed add a little rhinestone or something in the middle to to use up that bit of glue that's popped through so yes yeah, sometimes it's good now i'm trying to work out can i see where i've actually put these down before uh, i'm gonna have to put pink one another this is kind of pink i don't know if this is a good color for a christmas tree bauble but hey hey we're going with it now where have i put glue i want it sort of down here i might have to put another bit on a bit down here there we go do a pink one sort of over here Got another white one we can do up here where i've already put some glue right have i covered all my glue that's the question no nope, missed a bit one over here i think another gold i don't think you can ever have too much gold when you're doing christmas trees there we go they were kind of in a line weren't they okay there we go that's pretty fancy. I might put another red. In fact, I'm going to put another red one up here just to finish that off. There we go. So now, I mean, I've used lots of different colored, colored ones on there. Come on, stick, 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 stick. Thank you. Um, you could use all the same color. You could add some green. I quite like these little white ones, actually. Quite nice. But there you go. There's a card. There's a card. Next. I love it. It's fast, speedy crafting. Um, do we want to put a sentiment on it? That's the other question. You could put a little sentiment on it. What have we got? These are a little bit big now. I've stuck things all over it, so probably not for this one. But I have got a gold star, so I could put a gold star on the top of the tree. That'd be nice. There we go one gold star on the top of my tree okay so that's one down next what should we do next sending wishes from the north pole i like this one this is good and this one sometimes i find these cards are a little bit crooked i'm not going to lie sometimes they're a little crooked they just need easing into into space and that works fine I don't know that this really needs very much on this one because it's got a sentiment on it. What 
can we add on this one? Maybe a little bit, a little sprig of holly, possibly. No, it looks a bit too big, I think. No, I'm kind of thinking this one's okay because it's it's got everything it kind of needs. So I'm just going to stick this one on and maybe put a few sparkles. Oh no, you've got to go back again, Becky. Was that half an hour already? Oh boy. Okay. If my doorbell goes, don't panic. Somebody's arriving. I will go, let them in, come back, and they will sit in the other room. And because they know that I'm online, so that's fine. Okay. <laughs> See you next week, Becky. Have a lovely week. Okay, I'm gonna do a few. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm going to do some of these little white ones as if it's snow. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Little white ones like snow. There we go. One. Hold. Oh, no, it's come off. Come on, stop sticking so much. There we go. One. Two. Three. Threes are always good, remember, because they are the magic number. Oops, I just put the gold one in with the yellow. Oh, dear. I think I probably are going to decant these. I'm not quite sure how to do that. But I think I'll probably decant these into um, some of my old tubs. You know when you get embellishments and then you finish the embellishments and you're left over with loads of tubs? So, like these tubs. So, like, I've only got a few stars left in that. When I get rid of my stars, I could put my sequins in there. So I might just decant them out, because otherwise I can imagine them going everywhere. The, the lid is pretty good. Right, so that's that one. Next. Uh, what have we got now? So I've got some holly. I've got wishing you holiday cheer this season. I believe. What else we got? Just <laughs> rummaging back around. Oh, this one. We liked this one, the other side of the tree. May you never be too grown up. And see, on the holly, I want to do some... I'd like to put that gold believe over it or something like that. I could even put believe under here, actually. That would be quite nice, too. Hmm. So, yeah, so those two like that. And then I've got... What else? I might do some big ones next. After I do these two. What was the other one? I thought I had another design. Oh, this one. Here we go. And then on the back of that, so we've got mistletoe and that. Yeah, so these are sort of backing things. So we could put like um, could put like a stag on this one. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. So for this one, well, I'm going to go with little ones again. I think just for these two. Um. I'll put this one around there. there we go. Yes, I think for these two I'll go small again. And then that way. There we go. Yeah, I can you, I'm I'm thinking out loud, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Oh dear, here we go. If you're not using it for journaling, you could use that as a lovely one with a sentiment in the middle, I think. There we go. So I might do that one as well. So there's my holly. Okay. Now, I think the holly goes up that way. But of course, you could always have it sideways. It doesn't have to go up that way. But I just think it does look nice that way. And then I'm going to peel off my believe. You have to be quite gentle with these because they are, this is really skinny. This is like those words, you know, peace and joy that we used the other week. Was that last week? I can't remember what I did last week now. Yeah. Might have been peace and joy last week. Um, so if you get it stuck, got to go and do food now. Okay, Jane, see you next week. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So we'll, we'll pop these off. There we go, like that. And then, see, I'm kind of thinking, I think that needs to go on there, doesn't it? Because it says very firmly, may you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. So I think I'm just going to, Pop that believe down here. Straight, I think. 
if I can. Get it off my finger. They're very sticky, actually, these. There we go. Gently, gently, gently does it. Gently does it so that we don't crease it. There we go. There we go. And I always find the Take Your Pick tool is very handy for just rubbing gently over anything, making sure it's stuck in all places. Of course, it's not straight, though, is it, Pip? That's the problem. And now I've put it right down, so it's... Oh, no. Can I get it up again? Can I get it up again? Oh, question, question. Can I? Can't I? Do I want to even try? It's just going down slightly at this end, so if I could just lift this end up, it would be good. I need to put, I need to hold things up and rather than do them lying flat on the table. But I'm doing that for you guys, obviously, because you need to see it flat. Okay, I'm getting it up just gently. I might even just gently pull. There we go. It's coming. It's coming. If you're patient with it and don't rush it, you can move these things, especially with this lovely spatula end we've got. I especially love this end. Very good at getting under sticky things. Okay, so if I think if I can get that eye, actually maybe if I just tilt that that way a little bit, make it a little bit closer in. Come on, there we go. It's being very firmly that it wants to go down. Okay, we'll let you go. That's a little bit better. There we go. That's a little bit better. And now I can use this end to just sort of pop that into place. <laughs> uh, sometimes you can just manhandle things enough to get it back. Right, now don't forget the eye that got left back in here. There we go. This needs to, this little, the top to the eye needs to come in. That will help to lift that up a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's not so bad now. Um, and then, still a little crooked, but we can cope with it. And then, um, what else do we need on here? Maybe just some red stuff. Maybe just some red stuff. Let's go and grab a... Let's put this on a base, because we should have it on a base. There we go. And then um, pop that on there. I feel like it needs a little bit more though, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe some stars. Give me some ideas, guys. What would you do next? Some stars, some sequins. I think everyone's back at work. There's only a very few of you who are on here today. Well, at least according to my little note, my little notification. So I think we'll add a bit of gold, add some gold up here, and some here, we'll just add a few bits and then, like sort of skies, even though they're not, because they're going to be gold and red, but you know what I mean. Okay. We've got silver in here as well, but obviously this is a very green and gold, red, green and gold set, so I wouldn't use silver and these sequins seem to work both ways around because they're not that deep so you can stick them on both ways which is kind of nice more sequins thank you jane i think this i think more sequins too oh what's that oh that's a different shape i haven't found that one yet that's kind of like a dark sequin, dark red. That's nice. Okay, so now we have to find out what other ones we've got in there. That. Mm. Oh yeah, look, there's another one. Oh, I quite like that. We'll put that one up there. And then a different, the other red one can go there. Okay. We like that. And then maybe we go with a gold star again in the middle. Possibly. Although it's a bit roundy. Actually, I'm not going to go with, this, with the star because it's all very rounded edges. Can you see that? It, it, it's quite light, but all these sort of swirly, swirly bits are, are rounded edges. So the other thing, of course, you could do is you could just add a bit of Winkostella. 
because you can wink these cards up as well, which is always handy. Oh, in fact, I might do that on that one. That would be nice. Just do a bit of wink of Stella on the panes of glass on the lamp paste, just to add a, a touch of sparkle to it. Can you see that? Oh, lovely bit of sparkle. Really nice. And then we could even sparkle up the, the strips down the side. That would be nice. So we've got a bit of sparkle going on there and then you could of course also just run a bit of sparkle across the snow at the bottom. Wink of Stella is brilliant for adding just that extra touch of glistening. So there we go. So here we could, if we wanted to, just add a little bit of sparkle to some of these pieces that are on printed on the card. If you were feeling fanciful, but of course you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Lovely. There we go. So that's not so bad. That now it's not so bad, is it? Eh? It looks kind of nice and sparkly. So that's that one. So that's three done. And now this one, I'm going to put. I want to put something like um, jingle all the way, or let your heart. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, sending you Christmas wishes. That would work on there. All is bright is nice, but I think it might take up a little bit too much. Oh, we could do jingle all the way, although it's not bells, it's holly. But even so, I think it would would work. It's nice because it's just that extra light piece. Now it is double sided sticky. So you don't have to use anything else, but if you wanted to, then you can add dimensionals to the back of that because they will fit the little mini ones. Wink of Stella on the berries. Yes, great idea. We'll definitely do that. Definitely do some Wink of Stella on the berries. That's a good one, Jane. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. There. Stick that there, stick that there. Now they are going to be a bit sticky in the middle, so you might want to put extra ones in. Or you could just put some talcum powder over it to start off with, and then it would get rid of the sticky, if you know what I mean. So we could do that too. But I don't have my embossing buddy here anymore, so I don't know where I've put it. It used to live in my drawer, and now it's vanished. I don't know why. Okay, so let's do jingle all the way and put that across the holly sort of like that is it straight peeps is it is it no yes now it is there we go right so that's on there and then yes wink of stella on those berries would look lovely so just pop that on and then it doesn't really need anything else does it i don't think so <gasps> look at that sparkly oh yeah great cool great cool there we go we have sparkly berries can you see that yeah there we go sparkly berries good okay four down how are we doing what else so let's do some big ones now before i get distracted too far so i've got those four let's put that lid on <laughs> before i do anything else so season's greetings look at that i mean that's just a it's just a card on its own isn't it so I wouldn't use one of the foiled ones if you didn't want to, because then you'll hide all the foil bits. But if you wanted to, you could at least have that posh envelope if you if you were OK to cover up the foil, which, you know, sometimes I will be, but just not right this second. So <laughs> fold that over. And this again, I mean, really, what does it need? Maybe a smidge of nice ribbon it just fits perfectly onto your card base and gives you a nice little border all the way around so let's see could we add some oh if we add ribbon it's going to cover that up so i don't want to do that do we although oh it's quite nice just going over that corner we could just pop a little bit over that corner and add maybe some holly on top of it i like that idea so we'll chop a piece off here there we go. Well, remember it's this corner by putting our fingers on it. Use our seal. Pop some of this. 
when you've got a large ribbon like this it can be quite daunting as to what you would use it for so I think just putting a little edge of something onto a card can always you know it, it, it adds an accent it's not too much it's not overpowering the sleigh which obviously we don't want to do because the sleigh is the main focus of the card and it just gives us something to add to so we'll have that on there and then we can pop some holly or mistletoe no holly i think one of these nice large sprigs of holly yeah because i think mistletoe is a bit is the is the wrong green and maybe a couple of mm, no bells are gray don't want to do gray when we've got a gold thing in the bobby we've got a reindeer mm, mm, maybe maybe not i think we do that and we do a large holly <laughs> don't you agree <laughs> see uh, just tell me if you think i'm wrong but i think that would work quite well now you can i'm going to put this on my t-shirt just for a second just to get off some of the sticky <laughs> while, while i put this on that's another top tip just don't forget you've put it on there and walk out the door because people will go what why have you got a bit of holly stuck on your chest <laughs> be like oh yeah that's where it went oh, i've been card making this morning great great way of talking to people about your hobby <laughs> oh yeah i've been card making this morning can't you tell oh dear hey hi sarah how are you long time no speak sending you hugs right so now you now once you've got that off it's a little less sticky now, let's see i think still minis because i want to get them close to the edge of those berries well not berries leaves there we go um, but these little ones are actually just a smidge lower than their big counterparts. So if you wanted to add some curved texture, it's only very slight, but it is there. You could add one of the big ones in the middle. And then when you stick them down, it will be curved slightly in sort of all directions. So that's always a, a little top tip there. So we're going to pop that on there. That just brings the white from the um, from the outside of the card in. And then if you had red rhinestones, they also work nicely. You could just pop a couple of those on the berries. But I'm going to do what Jane said. Just give them a little sparkle with my Winker Stella. Because the gold is so big, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You don't really need much else. So there's that one. Mm hmm like hope so you're all very quiet today hopefully you like it though so that's one of the large ones very quick then another of the large ones we could just use this as a background and add one of the other smaller ones to it do you know what i mean so which one have we not used so far we haven't used this we could actually cut this out i liked that idea so yes it's a little bit of fussy cutting but it's all really pre-done for you in the sense that it's they've all got lines okay so we're just following the lines but i like this is almost like a triple layered swag if you wanted to you could cut them all up and decoupage this so you could have one layer as the green one layer as the white one layer as the red that would be a real kind of luxury you could use four of your three of your cards you got six haven't you these ones five five of these ones yeah so you'd still have enough for another two people or another one that you sort of half decoupaged up so that's possible I know lots of you out there like that, that sort of extra special layering. I think we've all done decoupage, haven't we, over the years? Hello, Barry or Jay, depends on who, it could be either. <laughs> oh, we're getting some loves, good, thank you. Now, technically, this is the wrong green to put on the back of this card, I am realising that. So I don't know. We might change this up, this background up for another one. 
But I do like the I do like the background, but we might see if there's another one that matches it better. Okay. So then we'll come around here. Dun, dun, dun. Sing to yourself. A little bit of, oh, I'm sorry, I do that all the time when I'm cutting. Some people stick their tongues out. I do that a little bit as well, but generally what I do when I'm cutting is I hum or sing along to myself. Which is fine when I'm on my own. Yeah, not so much in public. Especially since I haven't been to my singing group for a long time. So I'm a little bit rusty. And a little bit out of tune. Hey ho. I'm sure you'll forgive me. See, this is coming along alright, isn't it? Not too shabby. Not too tricky. Oops, come on. Just get in that bit there. Okay. Now then, what else can we do? Uh, pop this up through here. We're nearly done. You're all eating your lunch, so you don't care how long this takes, do you? <laughs> We're missing Sheila today, and and Carol. Carol's normally on here as well. I can't see you on here. And I don't know if Margaret's... Oh no, Margaret can't make it today, she told me that. So I know Margaret can't make it today. There we go. Right. There we are. Yes, not the right background for that. Let's find a better background for that. Possibly. Mm, that's real red. What should we see? What should we see? Which one should we get? Ah. Oh, okay. Maybe. Possibly. Or... This is also kind of the wrong colours, although I think that's getting better. What have we got here? That's that one again. We've got red. Well, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? <gasps> Do you know what would look really nice? Oh, it's the wrong green again, but I think it would go. Could put a whole piece of this down the back and then layer that up on top. Oh, that looks yummy, doesn't it? even put two across make it look like a birthday present or christmas birthday present christmas present pip remember the season that you're in okay so i think that's the only ones we've got for backing apart from that those are solid those are little i mean we could put it on a little one i suppose and then put the little one on top of something else i'm trying to find something that that is that's kind of jade color isn't it hmm Mm. I like it on this one. I think we go on this one. And I like it with this down here. So we'll definitely do a piece of that. Then what we need to do is we need to see whether it will work. Let's get all this out of the way, Pip. Stop being so messy. <laughs> Who else ends up working in like two inches of space? Right. We could do that. Then we can do this. Then we could kind of put that on as a oh that looks quite nice don't you think give me some love tell me what you think or am i being silly i think that looks quite good almost like a tag i almost want to put something turn it into a tag maybe actually it works quite well on that to be fair On the red one is good with the ribbon. Yes, I like that. I think that's I think you're right. Don't think it would go on there. It's definitely the wrong colour on that, but I think it just about manages to come out of itself on that one. So we'll do that one. What's on the other side of the holly? Ah, it's this one. Oh I suppose this yeah, because it's kind of garden green, isn't it? That's the thing. But we can just about get away with it on that. And then we can add a bit of gold sort of as a bow at the top here, maybe, to make it look like a bit more like a tag. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So this is very simple. You find your middle point. You put down your seal. And I, I'm just using my ordinary seal. This is not my seal plus. Um, you don't need seal plus for this 
to line up roughly because I haven't got any grid paper so kind of work out where it is in the middle handily this card has actually got lines on it so I can actually find out where the middle piece is so that's good and then here it's going to be one two three in from the side down there we go right so that's that so we've got that piece going that way we'll do another piece going this way and um, I wouldn't put it near the center I'd put it sort of um, towards the top hmm. did I cut a piece yes I thought I did now if you're very if you think about it as a real present, you know that your ribbon will probably be the wrong way up on one side of it, but I want it to be the right way up on both sides. So we're just, just going to go with that. There we are. Make sure it's straight. No, not quite near enough. This just needs to get pulled tight. There we go. Same on this side. Pull it tight. Nice. Okay. And then that bit's going to be hidden anyway because we're going to put the other bit on it. So we need a large card base. Hey, Leone. Lunch, no go. No over one hour. Got to go. Oh, I will do. Thank you, Jane. I will do that. I'll post them. Have a lovely uh, afternoon. Back to work. Don't work too hard, though, eh? A bit of Christmas is always good for your lunch hour. So, hi, Leone. How are you doing? You're doing good now this is going to go this way oh I could do it like no it's going to go this way i think and then as you can see i'm i'm playing with wonder of wonder of the season memories and more kit here and it's so huge i keep trying to get distracted on what i'm actually doing so <laughs> there we go right so this is going to be a portrait card like this okay then we will use dimensionals for this the one we've chopped up remember no soggy middles so lots of dimensionals plus it's going over ribbon so you always want to have quite a few because you'll need some on the outside to actually hold it in place um, otherwise it'll just flap around like the ribbon and you don't want that so those together pop that one in place like so and again it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not because it's all on a bit of a wonk intentionally on a bit of a wonk and then we're going hi Alison and then we're going do you take requests for cards says Lisa Jane um I haven't for a long time I used to I used to do lots of commissions I remember one year I got commissioned to do 60 Christmas cards um and i was like okay um it started off at 40 ended up at 60 and i thought and i said to myself never again uh, because it was quite a lot but i have done commissions sometimes yeah it just depends on the occasion and you know who it is who's asking really because i do have a lot of time um on my business doing videos and stuff like that and sometimes commission cards especially well i feel like i need to give them the time and the energy that they deserve so there we go what do you think of that that's come out okay hasn't it quite like that one so that's one two three four five six okay so i'm going to do two more very quickly this one because we need to have some bling i want to use show you how you can use these again this is going to be really quick um very simple and she says desperately trying to find the one she wants to use where is it it's vanished it's vanished i want to use one and put a little um i want to put a little yeah i kind of I, I i like this one this way now we're going to need to round those corners just well, actually no it would go in there like that and then I thought we could put the deer. We could do the deer on, actually we could do the deer on this one as well. And that kind of matches better with the corners. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. Or even this one. Oh, so many choices. But it's red foil, so let's go with green. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that with green. And then I thought we could put the stag on here, you see. I think this would he would look really good if you put him in the middle. 
freezing fun oh i love freezing fun yeah that would be a great one chat to me afterwards lisa because i mean freezing fun is just an amazing i wonder i might want him down there and then something else in there freezing fun is a beautiful set beautiful set and i'll be doing more with that too again all these gorgeous things to do right that's what i wanted to put on there so again stick it on the t-shirt then i'm going to have the and then i'll have the deer underneath attached to both this and that some on dimensional some on not and then we will add some of these lovely red thingies yeah that'll work perfect okay so let's do this can't get it off my t-shirt now stuck it on too hard <laughs> let's do this uh remember no soggies and we don't want soggies on this because it's still sticky so i'm pretty much covering the whole thing so don't don't be like oh my goodness what is she doing with her dimensionals i am just doing it because it's sticky and i want it to not be i want it to not sort of fold over and stick down on itself and even though this is cherry cobbler and the glossy foil on here is i think more real red it will still work so we'll pop this down here hold it by the edges whoops try and make sure it's straight this time pip so we don't have to do the whole kit and caboodle that's not too bad okay <laughs> and then we'll just pop this down hi angie how are you thanks for watching i know lots of people watch with the sound down so you know i understand that too so sometimes i say hello and i know they can't they don't answer me because they're not actually listening to me which is fine they're just watching me which is great so <laughs> there we go pop that on there that's pretty isn't it that's come out nice and then i really wanted to put this little stag sort of here-ish actually if i put him on this side we've got more space he would go nicely there wouldn't he i think i just feel like i want to put him somewhere what do you think should we put stag on stag off stag on stag off the choice is yours have a, th have a think i try and do this sometimes i put my i put him on my little sticky tool and then see what he would look like i think he would look quite good there don't you think but he is sticky and he's very thin, so I might have to put him flat down. So I might just put him flat down, I think. Like so. He can be standing on these little twirly bits. I think so. There we go. Yeah, he looks quite good like that, doesn't he? Adds just that extra bit of bling. Not that you really need it, because you've got quite a lot on the foil, but that's quite nice. And then if you wanted to, obviously your envelope flap is already foiled. Okay, so you don't need anything to make your envelope looking s s fancy. But that's not to say that you can't stamp the envelope on the front. So one of the things I also like to do is, which I'll just finish off with. See, like on this one, we've already got the stag. So we could... We could just sort of replicate the stag from the inside on the front and i would put him in i think i'll put him in cherry cobbler so it kind of matches and if you've got the set that goes with it you can always just add these little touches extra bits to the oh, i put him on cookie didn't i there look at that see he looks cute so now you've got a card that absolutely matches with your stag on the inside and the out and with your foiling on the inside and the out so that's that one um so then that's about it i think again you could put stamps um in all of the different colors oh, i'm just getting rid of all this debris there we go um you could definitely put stamps from the set uh, on quite a few of these not on all of them uh, because so like this one you could put the north pole or the sleigh on the envelope but it's a little envelope so i'd probably just put the seal on that seals great when you actually 
write the card, send the card in the envelope and actually put the seal over both. OK, but you can pre-do it by just adding the seal and then when you stick it down, it will be there. So that would be the North Pole seal. Um, this one doesn't match anything that is in this particular stamp set, but that's OK. doesn't matter. You could just add a little bit of mistletoe on the outside. Um, this one, you could put the sleigh on the back, like horizontally on the back of the envelope. Uh, again, this one, jingle all the way, would work better with the bells, I think. But again, you could add the North Pole one on. Season's greeting, North Pole for sure. Wishing you holiday cheer this season. Special delivery, that would work. So, you know, you could definitely um, zhuzh up. And then these mistletoe um, pieces are the same as the mistletoe pieces on one of these cards. Which, whichever it is here on these stickers so those mistletoe pieces are the same as these see so i love how it all kind of coordinates together so you can definitely add more stamping you could just keep going with adding these so we've done how many did we do seven eight yeah and then i'm going to do just to finish off i'm going to do my final it's either this one or there's the other one the big one the green one where has it gone oh i've lost it okay we've got bells still haven't done the bells this one here we go we wish you a beautiful christmas a wonderful christmas see that's just lovely isn't it definitely i don't think you need anything other than that on a card base look at that gorgeous 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 um the other thing i haven't shown you is the papers that goes with this set as well let me just pull those out hold on oh. so if i just get my little thing that goes with this because it's such a huge so there's there's two things first of all tis the season it's got bells it's got the trees it's got the mistletoe and it's got this swirly line so this paper also matches with this OK, but it also has a speciality paper, this one. Um, so if you wanted to, this one has got like red and red foiling again, which you can't see until I turn it into the light and gold foiling uh, plus black and white. Uh, so you've got so many options to add to this if you wanted to, if you wanted to put this onto normal. And this goes on both sides, by the way. So you've got the here's the feathers again as I call them, and then there's that one with the um, pine needles and the, what are they, stags, and the holly leaves, so, and then there's your holly leaves again, so I mean, it all just, I mean, it just coordinates beautifully, so those are the papers that match, this has been the Memories and More set, which is huge, um, huge, 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 I think I'm just going to pop that on a card base and leave it as my final offering to you, um, yeah, I mean, how many pieces did we have? You can chop them up and do lots of different things with them. This one would be great for putting one of those big um, sentiments on from here. No, not that one. Yeah, all is bright. That would look nice on there. Um, or one of these. Wonder, joy, believe. Any of those would work nicely on there too. So... I don't know how many cards you can make with this, but it's got to be more than 20. I mean, you get 20 in the in the pack of of um, card bases. But personally, if I was ordering this, I would order two packs of card bases, either all red gold, red foiled ones or the standard white ones and a pack of foiled ones. And that gives you the biggest sort of um, I didn't do that one either, did we? It gives you the biggest choice of options really oh and we didn't touch on those i mean just oh, that would look stunning on one of these wouldn't it look at that look at that <gasps> do i want to do that one that's lovely i'm just keep you just want to keep going you know that's the thing anyway i'm going to put all those over there so you get loads absolutely loads of those plus all the stickers so if you wanted to do countdown to christmas memories and more you know the 12 days before christmas with your kids or grandkids or if you wanted to um you know all the things that you normally do at christmas which we might not be able to do this year i understand but you still might want to do some stuff at home with them so it's always good for that 
or if you just want to send a bunch of really beautiful Christmas cards and get them done in a flash so that you could whiz them out and um, you know get them on their way really fast I think this has got to be something to stick into your into your um, next order. So, as I finish this one off, I'm going to leave you with that. Don't forget, this is the final week to book in for my Christmas online retreat, where everything is a little less chaotic than this, I promise you, because it's all done beforehand. So, as you can tell, I'm videoing it all this week, so we know it's all sorted. So, um, so I mean, look at that, so pretty. So, so yes, if you want to book into that, it is um, 229 and you get four full classes 120 pound plus goodie bag um exclusive designer exclusive bag for the retreat and um prizes surprises pillow gifts um chat live zoom sessions i mean i don't know how much else i can tell you about it it's just fab so <laughs> if you want to book into that that is available now and i you know demos customers everybody's welcome uh if you're abroad, talk to me because we'll have an, an after the event um, available session too. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of Christmas cards. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you've had fun and I will see you again. Same place, same time next week. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah. 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 I forgot. There's lots of sweets. <laughs> Even if it's an online one, there's lots of sweets. <laughs> Alrighty, so you take care everyone. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Cheers, bye.